888-6633. On the web, efoodsdirect.com slash alex. Uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy to get people actually to love their servitude. Uh, people can be made to enjoy a state of affairs which, by any decent standard, they ought not to enjoy. Perhaps you'd better start from the beginning. <laughs> Perhaps you'd better start from the beginning. Perhaps you had better start from the beginning. Too many kids are what's making the planet worse. A lot of these kids come from bad gene pools. They don't have stable parents making good decisions. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatric. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. Chloride in water is supposed to fight tooth decay, but could it also cause cancer? Turns out the government had the right under U.S. law to conduct secret testing on the American public under specific conditions. We have to work the dark side or we're going to spend time in the shadows. Any attempt to achieve world order must be the work of the devil. Well, join me. I, I'm glad to sit here at the right hand of Satan. There's a need for a new world order. Someday, in the next few years, a solution will emerge. seen as insects in the eyes of the global controllers. They are poisoning all of us in the food, the water, the cleaning products, everything by design. We have covered their own documents, their own admissions in triplicate. You ignore this information at your peril. But thank God there are people out there like JP, the last caller, that are going and putting my films and other documentaries on Access TV reaching thousands of people. That's another great avenue to reach out to folks. Whatever way you use, whether it's the internet or talk radio or blogs or newsletters or you write a book, every person you warn, every person that you wake up is one step closer to victory against this dehumanization. Now, I want to go hurriedly through your calls now. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. I've got some really important information and news blitz info coming up in the next hour. We're going to cover a host of issues, and we'll still continue to take calls, but predominantly it's going to be news in the next hour, then guest in uh, the third hour. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Justin in Arkansas. Justin, you're on the air. Oh, my God. Alex Jones, this is uh, wonderful. I've, I've always wanted to call in and talk with you. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for uh, helping me to reach new levels of awareness Thanks for calling. How can I serve you, sir? Okay. Um, I had seen something about uh, the, the aluminum from the chemtrails uh, building up in the uh, ground and whatnot and how it was affecting the growth of heirloom varieties of vegetables and fruits. Yes, and now and Monsanto out. and others are coming out with aluminum-resistant seeds. But it's not just in the chemtrails, which that we know they're spraying aluminum dioxide and barium salts. It's in the fertilizers, many of the industrial fertilizers, uh, being sprayed on the crop. So that's what's also killing the soil. And there's one other thing I want to bring your attention. I have just gotten out of the uh, military, but just before, like a week ago, I was hearing about, uh, at least in my state, they're going to be having a uh, pretty much a full-time force to deal with in-state emergencies uh, comprised of like 25% full-time individuals. You know? Yeah, that's Brigade Homeland they announced two and a half years ago in Army Times. Now they've got uh, eight regions with ten uh, subdirectorate regions under FEMA uh, with the military to engage in all forms of law enforcement. Yeah, it, it's it's just getting crazy. Cameras everywhere, and uh, and remember, they know. were building this up decades ago, and in their own white paper, saying it was for the design collapse. And so, th this has all been premeditated. Now, the average person in the military, even at colonel level, you know, is compartmentalized and doesn't see all of this. But if you show them the information, like my film Police State 2000, 
police state to the takeover made over a decade ago, people will then click in and, and say, wow, I already knew all of this. I just didn't put the pieces together. I've got about five year films, and so far I've put out about 400 copies so far, which isn't a lot, but it's yes, a it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you, the sir. act of resistance, handing out one film, uh, is a gift of information, and, and, and it's that first step that matters. Yes, it does. Anything else on your mind, Justin? Uh, that's the only thing I could think of. Thank you very much for taking my call, sir. Thank you, Justin. Good to hear from you. Let's go ahead and talk to Daniel in Washington, D.C. You're on the air. Hey there, Alex. How you doing? Thank you so much for taking my call. How are you? I'm doing all right. Very good. Um, I just wanted to, uh, first of all, I just wanted to, you know, thank you. Uh, you know, just I really appreciate, you know, all, all the work you're doing. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I sort of felt like uh, Neo, you know, in the Matrix for a lot of years. I felt like, uh, you know, something was wrong. You know, when, he, when Morpheus is explaining to him, you know, you always saw something wrong. But, you know, you could never just quite put your finger on it. So I felt like that. And, you know, in a lot of ways, you and other people kind of like my Morpheus a little bit. So no, that's it. That's I mean, fun. all I've ever done is point out that people already intrinsically knew, as I said 30 seconds ago, they just hadn't put the pieces together. And I think when callers call in and say, thank you, Alex, thank you, thank you, I always make the point, don't thank me. This is self-preservation. I mean, th this is pure evil, scientifically crafted dehumanization we're dealing with. I think really the statement is, I care about you intrinsically, and we are brothers and sisters in liberty, in loving the truth, in carrying the fire of hope, and honor and love in our hearts. And so I think instead of saying you appreciate me, I appreciate you and we love the truth. And so we are spiritual brothers. And so I understand callers always want to thank me because they want to say I appreciate you. Well, no, I appreciate you. We are together. We are soulmates in eternity. All of us are part of a brotherhood and a sisterhood and sons of liberty here. And so I think that's really why, even though I ask callers not to thank me, uh, everyone does it uh, because they're wanting to say, I am with you. Well, I am with you as well. We are together in history. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, you, united we stand. Um, well, well, I wanted to bring up just, just a couple of things. Uh, I'm on Facebook like a lot of other folks, and I was just, you know, I was looking at some of your pages, and it just, I just get so tired and so frustrated. There are so many people that are on these comments and on these message boards and they instead instead of like an issue or something that you might have posted up there they want to focus and like you know maybe bad mouth you or you know make make it about you instead of focusing on the issue and when I, it, it didn't take for you to tell me or the rest of your listeners to to, to focus on the issues and, and they choose not to so what i was basically saying was just you know if if if, if he's touching on something that uh that that you don't don't want him to touch on or whatever. Then 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 go ahead and and write an article or make up a blog and and pretty much you know just 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 do what you want to do. If, if all you're going to do is is uh, go into his message boards and stuff and 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 bad mouth him, you're, you're you're not being really productive. I would never go to Glenn Beck's message board or you know or something like that or some neolib message board and bad mouth like whoever put it together. I would go on there and and raise issues that I'd want you know, rate raised up, you know what I mean? So I, I just think that, I just think that's crazy. And, um, and I had, uh, recently from off of your site, I got the, uh, I've got Colonel, uh, Leroy Fletcher Prouty's the secret team. And, uh, it's extremely informative already. I'm not even that far into it. It's well, it is extremely important and everything you've said has been uh, extremely well focused. Anything else, Daniel? Huh? Anything else, sir? Uh, uh, no, no, well, 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 well uh, concerning, uh, the secret team, I just, I just wanted to say really quick, I, I, I thought it was, thought it was incredible. My, my father, he came in and then he, he saw it and he was like, oh, what is this, another conspiracy book? I said, no, I kind of consider it a history book rather, but okay, yeah, for the sake of argument. And he's like, well, I, you know, I think he's like basically called, uh, Colonel Prouty a snitch or what have you. And then so I let him make his point and I came back after the fact and said, well, you know what? Let me ask you a quick question and tell me the truth. Uh, uh, would you would you still have said the same thing if Colonel Prouty had written this book, but instead of critiquing the CIA and what he called the secret team, he had been supporting it? Would you still say the same thing? He thought about it for a minute, and he said, no, I wouldn't say the same thing. 
And I just, I, I left. I, I just think it's so incredible. We need to shake ourselves out of this silly apathy that we're in. Daniel, I appreciate your call. Uh, let me speak to your father, who I'm sure is a wonderful person. And because he is a good patriotic American, and he's done good work, uh, it sounds like, in the government, he takes that as an insult to hear about Fletcher Prouty, the head of black ops, the liaison between the Pentagon and the CIA and the White House. He takes that as an insult against himself. And that's why compartmentalization is so dangerous, is that people that work in the system are shielded and, and, and are kept in a little bubble and are generally told they're doing something for one reason when really it's not being done for A, it's being done for B. And they don't want their image of America to be tarnished. And they're really playing a mind game with themselves where if they think that they just say everything's okay, then that makes